So how did the gang sell three tons of stolen Brinks matte gold? They enlisted the services of Kenneth Noy, a notorious gangster with deep underworld connections and a violent temper. He realized that they needed to melt the gold down, sell it, and then launder the money. They would need paperwork. So Noy bought 11 bars of legitimate gold bullion and used the certificate from that purchase to move the stolen gold bit by bit, 11 bars at a time, to a smelter named John Palmer. Palmer began melting the gold with copper coins to change its composition, making it harder to trace to Brink's mat. He would then sell it to several gold dealers. Noy and Palmer worked like this for months and got through most of the gold. However, the special task force received a tip-off from Kent police about Kenneth Noy and so began monitoring him and anyone he interacted with. It was only a matter of time before they caught up. 